Well, hello there, you're watching the Adventure of Bean Park Fans YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. So before I start today's video, I just want to say two things. Um, I am sorry that I didn't upload on Tuesday yet again. And um, and now I will be moving the Tuesday uploads to um, Wednesday. So um, the other day, well, I said the other day, I said, um, well, I mean Monday. I put out a post in the community tab of my um, YouTube channel. And um, I, I asked you guys whether I should stick with Tuesday uploads or move to Wednesday uploads. You guys wanted Wednesday uploads. So from now on, I'm going to be... I'm still going to be uploading two videos a week. But instead of instead of one of the days being Tuesday, it's going to be Wednesday, Wednesdays and Friday. So Fridays is staying the same and now it's going to be Wednesday. So instead of... Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, it's going to be Wednesdays and Fridays you will be getting videos on this channel. Except for um, theme park vlogs, because um, that uh, theme park vlogs, it depends when I visit a park, you know. For example, if I visit a park on a, um, a Saturday, then it might, that, that vlog might come out on a, um, on a Monday. If it's a Sunday, then it might come out on a Tuesday, so, you know. But anyway... Let's get into the video. So, as you can see by the video title, I'm going to be explaining the Secret Weapon Program. So, the Secret Weapon Program, it's it's been a good program for all the towns, and um, it's made some of the best coasters in the UK and Europe. Well, maybe apart from one. <laughs> um, so, I mean, like, the Secret Weapon Program, it's unearthed Nemesis, Oblivion... Um, Air slash Galactica. That's that's the one I said that is debatable. <laughs> um, thirteen, the Smiler, and of course Wicker Man. So um, I'm going to be explaining the history of the Secret Weapon Program, and also talk about um, SW1 and SW2, which never went ahead. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's start off with Secret Weapon One and Secret Weapon Two, shall we? So um. I do have my notes down here, so I do apologise if I'm not looking um, straight at the camera. It's because I'm reading my notes. Secret Weapon 1 and Secret Weapon 2 never went ahead at Alton Towers. Secret Weapon 1 was going to be an arrow pipeline coaster, which was going to be themed around a secret military facility. So basically, think of Nemesis of Terror and Forbidden Valley. You know, that theme of a secret... Military facility is still somewhat around for Bitter Valley, so yeah. Um, work for Secret Weapon 1 had begun in 1991, however, due to a combination of technical issues with the design of the ride and financial problems from Aerodynamics, the project was put on hold. So, Secret Weapon 1 never went ahead because of, um, as I said, technical issues with the ride and uh, financial problems for Aerodynamics, however. Just a year later, the project for the Arrow Pipeline Coaster was revived under the new codename Secret Weapon 2. And this is where Secret Weapon 2 never went ahead. John Wardley went to ride the prototype ride developed by Aerodynamics and described it as being slow, cumbersome, boring and, and inefficient. And so the project was abandoned. Now I must say... It would be really interesting if either Secret Weapon 1 and Secret Weapon 2 went ahead. You know, because the landscape of Forbidden Valley would definitely be different. So, I think, in my opinion, it would be really interesting to see what Forbidden Valley would look like today. Had Secret Weapon 1 and Se or Secret Weapon 2 went ahead. So, so, for those of you who don't know, Secret Weapon 1 and Secret Weapon 2 never went ahead. However... This, guys, is where it gets interesting because this is where the Secret Weapon program really kicks in. Secret Weapon 3, Nemesis. Plans for Secret Weapon 3 started in 1992 when Bolliger and Mabillard opened their first inverted coaster, Batman the Ride, at Six Flags Great America. Uh -huh. At Six Flags Great America. John Woodley wanted to bring something similar to Alton Towers, and so he started working with Stengel Engineering to develop a unique ride layout. 
Nick Varney, now CEO of Merlin Entertainment, who was then the marketing director at All The Towers, alongside John Woodley, came up with the name Nemesis. The funny story behind this was was both Nick Varney and John Woodley <laughs> were drinking Southern Comfort while trying to come up with a name for Secret Weapon 3. Neither can remember who came up with the name Nemesis. <laughs> That 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 is a true story, by the way. Um, I think John Wadley spoke about this at the um, Nemesis twenty first birthday event, and he said that neither him or Nick Varney can remember who named Nemesis. I am gonna, I am gonna, I am gonna guess that it was John Wadley who came up with the name, but we'll never know because neither Nick Varney or John Wadley can remember who named Nemesis. <laughs> uh, so anyway, back to Secret Weapon Three. Nemesis opened on the 19th of March 1994, having had soft opening on the 16th of March. And was also the first B&M attraction to be installed outside of the USA, and so Nemesis became Europe's first inverted coaster. So yeah, Nemesis is where the secret weapon program really kicked in. I mean, if it wasn't for Nemesis, would we still have the secret weapon program? Maybe, but Nemesis also bought, well, no, not bought. Nemesis, in some ways, put all the towers on the map. Not just in the UK, but Europe as well. I mean, like, I know all the towers did open a corkscrew in 1980, but I think, in my opinion, Nemesis was the coaster that put all the towers on the map back in 1994. So now, moving on to Secret Weapon 4. Oblivion. During the 1990... During the 1997 season, all the rides in Fantasy World, now Exeter, apart from the Black Hole, had been relocated to different areas of the park while construction for Secret Weapon 4 took place. During Secret Weapon 4's construction phase, no one knew exactly what all the towers were building. The construction site was surrounded by an air of secrecy. Before the 1998 season began, it was announced that Secret Weapon 4 would be known as Oblivion, the world's first vertical drop coaster. However, hints as to what Secret Weapon 4 would be were during Christmas 1997, when Alter Towers released a unique Christmas card with Santa's sleigh going vertically down. So yeah, that's Secret Weapon 4, Oblivion, and... It would have been really interesting to be at Alter Towers back in the day when they were building Oblivion, you know. Because you think about it, we're, we're talking about 1997 here, and obviously, social media was <laughs> social media was definitely not around back in the day. And, um, and also, I think at this time, like, around 1997, I think, um, I think, what was I going to say, like, I think the internet had. I think the internet wasn't as big as it is now, obviously. So, um, the plans for Oblivion were definitely kept a secret. So, I think it would have been awesome to have been at Alton Towers during the season when they were building Oblivion. So, anyway, moving on, we move on to Secret Weapon Five, Air. Originally, Air was going to be Secret Weapon 4 or Secret Weapon 3, but because of techno... techno... Uh, techno... Te but because of techno... Te technological limitations, if I now got it right, um, this was held back for at least eight years. Unlike previous Secret Weapon projects, Alton Towers encouraged guests to have a look through the construction fences at the building site for the coaster. Before the 2002 season began, Secret Weapon 5 was announced as Air, the world's first flying coaster. Unlike Nemesis, Air was supposed to create a calm and oasis feel at the end of Forbidden Valley. Unfortunately, in the first few seasons of operation, Air suffered several periods of downtime. In July 2015, 13 years after Air opened, a planning application would be submitted which would signify the end of Air and the start of the rebrand slash retheme to Galactica. It was the first of the secret weapon coasters to be completely rebranded. As I've said to you guys, I really don't like calling Air Galactica and um, because, you know, they removed the virtual reality headset. So um I think in my heart it'll it'll always be known as there. So 
There we have it. Secret Weapon 5 Air. Oh, good luck to get as it is today. But moving on. We move on to Secret Weapon 3. Uh, Secret Weapon 3. <laughs> Secret Weapon 6. 13. It would be seven years after Air's um, Secret Weapon 5 opening when Autotel started working on Secret... Uh, Secret... <laughs> Secret Weapon 6 in 2009. In 2008, the classic and iconic corkscrew bid farewell to all the towers after 28 years in operation. Plans for Secret Weapon 6 were approved in March 2009, and so construction got underway. As the 2009 season progressed, the marketing for the ride picked up pace with the result providing construction updates via a Flickr account. On the 11th of December, on the 11th of December 2009, it was announced that Secret Weapon 6 would be known as 30, the world's first, the world's first vertical freefall drop coaster. During 13's marketing campaign, it was billed as a psycho coaster, and guests were expected a thrilling ride when actually it was a coaster that all of the family could experience. Yeah, I remember when 13 was hyped up in the marketing campaign. And um, a lot of people were let, let down by it. However, 10 years later, I think 13 is one of the most underrated coasters at the park. And to this day, I still enjoy it. Yes, it isn't a full ride that we were all hoping for back in 2009, 2010. But I think it's a good coaster for what it is. And personally, I hope 13 can stay for a few more years. So anyway, that secret weapon... That Secret Weapon 6, 13. Moving on to Secret Weapon 7, The Smiler. Okay, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Not long after 13 and opened in 2010, planning for Secret Weapon 7 had commenced. Plans for Secret Weapon 7 were submitted in December 2011 and construction would begin in March 2012. The initial plans for Secret Weapon 7 showed that the ride was going to have 8 inversions instead of the 14 inversions that we know of today. On the, tw on the 21st of January 2013, Secret Weapon 7 was announced to the world as the Smiler, the world's first 14 looping coaster. The Smiler was originally due to open on Saturday the 16th of March 2013, but due to construction delays, this was pushed back to May 2013. Alton Towers then announced that the Smiler would be opening on, on Thursday the 23rd of May 2013. However, just 24 hours before the ride was due to open, the resort announced that due to unforeseen problems, the Smiler will not be opening on Thursday the 23rd of May 2013 as planned, and a new opening date for the ride was not given at this time. The Smiler eventually and without warning finally opened to the public on Friday the 31st of May. Friday the 31st of May 2013 at midday. So, what was I going to say now? So, as, as I was going to say there, I do like the Smiler. I don't hate it. And I think it's unique to this country because of the 14 inversions. But I wouldn't go out there and say it's one of my best coasters. It's a good coaster for what it is. And um, that's my thoughts on the Smiler. Moving on to the... Um, Latest secret weapon project, secret weapon 8, Wicker Man. Three years after the Smiler had opened, it was announced that construction for secret weapon 8 had begun on the old flume site, which sadly closed towards the end of the 2015 season. Construction for secret weapon 8, however, didn't start until the 2017 season. During secret weapon 8's construction phase, a big structure was placed in the middle of the ride. Speculation had begun as to what this big structure could be. On, the, on January the 8th, 2018, Secret Weapon 8 was announced to the world as Wicker Man. Autos House also announced that Wicker Man would be opening, opening on Saturday the 17th of March 2018. However, due to inclement weather, this was pushed back to Tuesday the 20th of March 2018, with the opening ceremony taking place a week later than scheduled on Saturday the 24th of March 2018. And that's it guys. Um, I hope this video was um, 
good and I hope I explain the history of the um, Secret Weapon Coast as well. However, there is one final segment. The future of Secret Weapons. So, obviously the next Secret Weapon Coast is going to be Secret Weapon 9. But, I'm trying to think bigger here. I'm trying to not, not only Secret Weapon 9, but um, I'm already thinking of Secret Weapon 10 and Secret Weapon 11. So, I think it's going to be interesting to see what um, the next three Secret Weapon Coasters bring. Um, what 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 um, rides they're going to replace, you know. I, at this moment of time, it's still uncertain. But, yeah, maybe you you guys can speculate below. I don't know. Like, if you want to speculate what um, rides SW9, 10 and 11 may um, replace, then do comment below and have some speculation. So that is it for another video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and as I said, I hope I explained the history of the secret weapon coast as well. And so if you did enjoy it, then please do give this video a like because it helps the channel out. Um, if you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description below. So please go check it out and give it a like. And the next video will be coming out on Friday. So I'll see you guys on Friday for the next video. And just to say one more time, I will be moving the Tuesday uploads to Wednesday now. So um, from next week and beyond, um, you'll be having two videos a week. One on a Wednesday and one on a Friday. So um, I hope you're all happy with that. Um, as well as, you know, theme park vlogs. So, when I do a theme park vlog, it'll be three videos a week. So, excellent. <laughs> I'm Ward you. Thank you for watching, theme park fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.